Good morning, my dear children. How are you? I hope so. You are fine and fantastic. I am Vaikuntha Pusaidalu, TZT English. In this session, I would like to discuss vocabulary. My dear children, what is vocabulary? Yes, a set of words in any particular language is vocabulary. Without vocabulary, there is no language. Right? Today, we are discussing this. Children, see, the body of words used in a particular language is vocabulary. So, in effective communication, a robust vocabulary plays a crucial role in anybody's success in terms of academic, in, ter in terms of professional success. Today, we should know what is importance of vocabulary. See, improve it uh, improves reading comprehension, essential for language development, communicate ideas, express yourself in writing and speaking exactly my dear students if in order to improve our comprehension we need sound vocabulary if we have sound vocabulary 98 percent of understanding we will get with first reading right and in order to develop our language to a great extent we need sound vocabulary right for example see great writers and speakers they have sound vocabulary that's why they become successful so that we need to enhance our skills in vocabulary. We can communicate our ideas, thoughts, expressions, emotions easily, excellently. If needed, we can elaborate it and we can concise it when we have sound vocabulary. We can express ourselves in written, in spoken, when we have sound vocabulary, so that we need to expand our vocabulary. Right? There are many techniques and ways to develop our vocabulary. So, in this regard, I would like to tell you a quotation which was said by Virginia Woolf, who is an American author. She tells, read a thousand books, words flow like a river. Exactly. Wide reading gives us great vocabulary, deep thinking, sound knowledge. In addition to this, we need to read a lot. We need to, we need to uh, speak with different people who know English. We need to... Um, learn English, English vocabulary, use dictionaries, thesaurus, and uh, especially we need to watch English movies, English uh, news, podcast, and listen to mu music, and uh, try to trace the meaning, uh, meanings of the lyrics, then definitely we can develop our vocabulary. What is our ultimate aim? Our ultimate aim is improving language. So once you got command over vocabulary, you can achieve it. Not only this, and in addition to this, we need to focus on some other things, some other important aspects. Those are roots, prefixes, suffixes, synonym, synonyms, and antonyms. Today's topic is, so we should focus on that. See, my dear children, before our learning root, we, I would like to tell you a story. See, Ricky. Ricky was a boy new to class. So in the class, he wanted to make friendship with anybody. In the same class, Karthik, Karthik moves, moved friendly with Ricky. So Ricky liked his friendliness. So he, he started doing friendship with R Karthik. Same way, in the same class, some of the guys, some of the students moved unfriendly so that these two guys did not like their unfriendliness. So, but they started, they continued their friendship. So in this small example, I used one root repeatedly. What is that? That is friend, see? Friend, friendship, friendliness, unfriendly unfriendliness right see and we can friend is the root word friendship we added prefix suffix and friendliness this is also suffix un 
prefix. This is friend is root, ly is suffix. See again, un, un is prefix, friend is root word and linus is suffix. So, if you know one friend and by adding prefixes and suffixes, we are getting many words, right? So that today's topic we would we would like to discuss on roots. Children, see the definition of roots: a root, a part of a word which gives meaning to the word and can generate other words by adding prefixes and suffixes to it. Exactly. See aqua. See aqua. Aqua means water. Aqua means water. See, aqua. If you know this aqua, you can get many words. See, aqua. So, aquarium. Aqua not. Aqua marine. Aqua farming, aqua products, aqua culturist. See here, if you know aqua, aqua means water. So you can understand the what is aquarium then. Aquarium means it is a transparent container. It is a transparent container which, in which fish live or aquatic animals live. Aquanaut. You might have heard the, this uh, word um, astronaut. You might have heard it. What is astronaut? Astronaut is space or star, and not means traveler. A person who travels in the space is astronaut. Such a way, a person who swims underwater with the help of aqua lung is Aquanaut, right? He is aquanaut, a person who swims under water with the help of aqua, aqua lung, right? Aquamarine, it is a precious gem, it is a precious stone, so which resembles sea water, water color, so that we call it aquamarine. Then aqua farming, so uh, aqua farming, aqua culture, aqua cultivation, these all are similar, they contain same meaning, which means growing fish in fresh water bodies is aqua farming. Next, aqua products. So, related to fish products are aqua products. And aqua culture, a person who cultivates, who grows fish in fresh water bodies is aqua culturist. Such a way, if you know roots, you can understand all the odd words. Next. Next means bio, means life or living. It is very simple and uh, common root word, bio, biology, biography, biosphere. Bio mass, bio gas, bio diesel. See here, so what is biology? Biology is a study of biology is a study of living matter, living beings is biology, right? So logy means study. Biography, bio means life. So, graphy means writing. So, a person's history or a account of a, a person is called biography. Biosphere. What is biosphere? It is an environment where we are living. All the animals and living beings are living. It is biosphere. And what is biomass? All the living beings on the earth is biomass. 
So, biogas, unlike uh, normal gas, we are extracting gas from living beings like uh, buffalo dungs, we are getting gas that is called biogas. What is biodiesel? Same way, unlike normal diesel, we are extracting gas from uh, soya, soya beans or jetropa, uh, jetropa seeds we are getting and we are extracting uh, diesel that is biodiesel. Such a way we can go to other world. See, so micro, what is micro? Micro means small, micro, small, microbiology. The study of living, small living beings is microbiology. What is microscope? You might have used microscope, my dear children, right? And your science teacher might have used it. Microscope, which makes small things larger, right? You can see microorganisms through microscope. What is microorganism? Microorganism is a small living creature which consists of only cell, that is microorganism. Microbiologist, a person who studies small living beings is microbiologist. For example, mic microcomputer, you might have heard it, a small computer is microcomputer and mi microchip and we, we can find, uh, um, we can see microchips in our mobiles, right? So, microchip means it is a small chip which insist, which in which uh, it is uh, placed in mobiles. So, so that my dear students, if you go to other word, multi. What is multi? Multi means many. Multi means many. Multilingual. Our country is a multilingual country, which means in our country many languages are there. Many languages are existed. What is multiple? Multiple means many. Multiple means many. If you see, for example, he died of multiple organs failure. He died of multiple organs failure. So, you can go other word, multicultural. What is multicultural? Multicultural means having many cultures. Our country is a multicultural. Multimedia, same root, multimedia. What is multimedia? Using more than one form of communication is multimedia. Or in our mobiles, you see, we are typing, we are speaking, we are watching, right? And uh, we are uh, listening. So, what is, so multi, we are using multimedia in our mobiles. So, multiplex, using uh, or mini screens in nowadays, uh, multi, uh, multiplex are existed in all, almost all cosmopolitan politan cities, right? So, if you go to port, other word, what is port? Port, port means carry, it is very common and simple root. Portal, it is a doorway where websites and uh, all links carried, carried in and carried out. What is portable? At, uh, we, it is very simple root, port. So, portable means easily carried, portable TV, portable fridge. And if you go to other word, port, or of course, airport, where aeroplanes uh, come, uh, take off and land, that is airport. So, if you import, import, im means, im, im means uh, in, port means carry, import, we are expo ex importing many electronic goods from other countries. Export, same way, export means, x means out, port, carry, export means we are sending, we are exporting raw materials, food grains, right, to other countries. Next, if you, if you go to other word, see, root audi, audi, audi means here, audible, what is audible, which is able to be heard, audience, a group of people who are gathering at a public place to listen is audience. Auditorium, what is auditorium? You can carry on uh, next word also. What is um, auditorium? Auditorium means a, a pe people where, that is a public building where people gather and enjoy the performances. Auditions, you might have heard this word also. Audition means it is a test for newcomers and uh, singers, performers, for whether they are suitable for the character or not. Ben, Ben is also other uh, root. What is Ben means good? What is Ben means good? So, Ben factor. What is Ben factor? A person who gives money to others to help is benefactor. Benevolent, a person who shows kindness 
to others is benevolent. So, if you know Ben and if you know Ben means good, then you can understand benefactor, benevolent, beneficial which gives be better results is beneficial. Benefit it also same meaning which give good results. For example, beneficiary and government our Telangana government for example, our Telangana government ordered, ordered the government officials to find uh, benefic beneficiaries for Kalyana Lakshmi. What is the meaning of beneficiary? A recipient, a recipient of advantages is beneficiary, right? Such a way, if you go to other word, dict. What is dict? Dict means to say. Dict means to say. So, dictation, you might have taken dictations in our classes. So, what is dictation? It is an act of telling words to be written, right? Dictator, a tyrannic uh, ruler, right? Who so, dictator means whose words, whose words are rules of the land or the state is dictator, right. So, if you know the word dict, then you can understand dictation, dictator, for example, dictionary. What is dictionary? It is a book which tells us how to pronounce the meaning of the word and origin of the word. That is, for example, if you go to other, contradict, what is contradict? To tell against, tell against, for example. We should not contradict the ideas of our elders, right? Next, if you go to spect. Spect means to look. Spect means to look. So, here see in yellow color, spect. So, spectator, a person who sees the performance is spectator. If you go to cricket stadium, you can find number of thousands of spectators who watch the spectacle. What is spectacle? It is a brilliant performance, is spectacle. Virat Kohli's batting is spectacle. And uh, we can go to other word, spectacular. What is spectacular? It is an impressive event. It is an impressive event which is worth watching is spectacular. So, inspect means observe keenly, observe keenly. Introspect means think, think, think or uh, look into our ourself our emotions is introspect suspect if you sus what is suspect weaving or looking some at somebody or something is with a mistrust is suspect right so if you go to other word is auto what is auto auto means life auto means life auto biography auto is root word here auto self bio bio means life graph graphy graphy means here writing so a person who wrote himself about himself is autobiography, right? For example, Gandhi wrote autobiography, right? The experiment of truth is autobiography. Is autobiography. So, if you and if you go to automation, nowadays industries are following is automation. Without manual work, the industries are equipped with automation so that uh, people may lose jobs. Automatic. What is automatic? It is a system which works itself is automatic. Oh, if you go to other word, auto gear, in new cars we are getting auto gear. The gear works itself without manual. So, that that is auto gear. Such a way, we should go to, we should keep on, move on to other word. Other root is tele. What is tele? Tele means far or distant. Television, you at our homes, televisions are there, right? You are watching it on TV. So, what is tele? Tele means foreign vision we are looking. The content or the videos we are getting from somewhere, that is why it is called television. Telephone, what is telephone? Phone, sound, tele, far away or distant. So, the sound we are getting from somewhere, that is why it is called telephone. Teleconference, nowadays our principals are participating in teleconferences. What is teleconference? The uh, people are uh, staying at uh, different locations and uh, they are um, uh, uh, participating in conference that is called teleconference and telemarketing. What is telemarketing? Uh, um, sometimes we are getting calls from some media agents or uh, some organizations uh, they are selling, they are selling their uh, services and goods to marketing that is called telemarketing. Now, it is other word existed what is tele, um, telemedicine. So, if you have any problems and you should make a call to a doctor and they, they give treatment through 
telephone. So that is telemedicine. They also provide medicine also. That is telemedicine. So understand my dear students. Now we should go to other aspect of a, a learning vocabulary. Prefix. What is prefix? A group of letters placed before the stem or root to change a word's meaning is prefix. You, if you see prefix, you can understand uh, the word itself tells the meaning. See, pre means before, fix attached to, right? So prefix. Uh, so the word which is attached to, which is attached to, uh, root, right? Root, that is prefix. If you go to first word, anti, anti means against, anti against, anti social, anti biotic, anti dot, anti thesis. So if you see anti social, anti is here prefix, concentrate on prefix, anti social. A person who is against the laws of society is anti social, right? And uh, other word, other meaning is a person who is not sociable, that means he does not like the company of others, is antisocial. Antibiotic, you might have heard this word. So the medicine which is given to patients to cure uh, infections, right? That is antibiotic. So for example, antithesis, that uh, the thing which is against, against God is anti. T, T means God, anti means against. Antithesis means here, the person, the thing which is against anti uh, god is antithesis so antidote it is the medicine it is a medicine uh, or it is the remedy which cures uh, 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 problems is antidote for example uh, it cures uh, poisonous effects of a uh, uh, person that's why it is called antidote so we should go to other word other prefix what is that this what is the meaning of this opposite of this means opposite of dislike what is the meaning of dislike not like right i dislike sweets somebody likes sweets dishonest so we should not be dishonest Dis uh, disappro what is disappro disappro means not approved not approved so such a way we should go to other word so what we have to do here we should concentrate on prefixes so these prefixes are attached to root words then they they change the words meaning here right so in in means not in means not incorrect not correct incomplete not complete invalid what is not valid the that is not a valid point but inconsistent what is inconsistent not consistent for example rohit sharma's uh, uh, batting is not consistent so that's why he is he is inconsistent in his performance so if you go to other other uh, prefix that is co what is co co means with or together with or together co worker what is co worker means the person who is working along with you is co worker right co pilot so co co pilot means if you see in aircrafts or in aeroplanes two pilots work together that's why they the the pilots are called co pilot the person is called co pilot co author some books are written by two authors same way one main author the author uh, the other is co author co founder if you see co founder co founder also same if a person starts uh, a company with other other person the other person is called co founder so they. so move on to next word next prefix what is prefix prefix so here extra extra means more than extra means more than extra curricular so in our school sir we are following curriculum so how to teach how, what are the subjects uh, to be taught is curriculum so extra curricular what is extra curricular along with curriculum we are teaching uh, sometimes how to write plays singing and participating in dramas right those are extra curricular activities for example extra sensory if you see extra sensory uh, having uh, humans have only five senses right humans have only five senses if you expect something and uh, you, if you see something else uh, we, um, that is happened that is extra sensory nothing but sixth sense extraordinary 
what is extraordinary more than ordinary for example if you want to climb the mountain you know, like uh, purna anand we need to show extraordinary commitment right if you go to other words we should go to other word miss it is also common and uh, relevant relevant uh, prefix miss means wrongly misspell what is misspell misspell means misspell means wrong wrong spelling misbehave misbehave means wrong behavior if you go we should go to other so suffix what is suffix suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word to form a new word is called suffix er or it tells it uh, denotes persons one who teacher a person who teaches doctor a person who treats the uh, problems or ailments is doctor so such a way if you go to other word ism what is the meaning of ism belief idea racism racism what is racism racism means uh, showing partiality against a group of people uh, based on their color or uh, uh, land is racism now the struggle is going on in america against racism communism what is communism communism means it is also a belief where all the goods are distributed to all the people in the country is communism fascism what is fascism so it is also belief of uh, the strong government people believe that believe in strong government is uh, is uh, fascism if you go to other word ity it means quality of activity equality productivity creativity these are the words of it if you go to meant what is meant condition of argument what is argument an act of arguing is argument punishment what is punishment an act of punishing is punishment so here argue is verb meant we added meant as a suffix and it became noun punishment it is it punishes verb and meant what is meant is suffix we added then it became punishment such a way employment payment uh, so these are the words we can guess we can uh, guess the meaning of uh, these words when we know meant meaning ness ness means state of being what is meaning state of being sadness being sad heaviness we should not feel heaviness in our heart when you feel sad so if you go to other full what is full full means full of beautiful full of beauty helpful helpful full of help so we should go to other synonym so why we need to you uh, we, we need to learn synonyms because to variety uh, to variety to our language we need to uh, add variety to our language then we need synonyms so see, see the definition a word having the same or nearly the same meaning as another word is synonym similar words same words are synonyms amazing see amazing incredible amazing instead of amazing we can use incredible unbelievable fabulous excellent fantabulous astonishing astounding so many words we can use in instead of amazing so if you use the, all these words our language will be lively so that we need to we need to use synonyms for example you saw next up, beautiful so what is beautiful if we instead of beautiful we can use pretty lovely handsome charming elegant angelic these are these are the words we can use instead of beautiful so now next go to other other aspect of learning vocabulary is antonym a word having an opposite meaning to another word is antonym so in the same way if you want to make your language loud lively we need antonyms accept accept uh, instead of accept you can use oh uh, sorry accept means antonym accept uh, opposite is decline refuse deny reject or if you arrive if you go to arrive depart leave go abandon so big big little small tiny meager calm uh, opposite of calm is windy troubled noisy excited abundant abundant so abundant uh, antonym is scarce 
scanty, meager, sparse, so lack, weakened. So if you go to other capable, capable, incapable, helpless, powerless, impotent, like that we can use instead of uh, uh, opposite of capable, despair, hope, desire, aspiration, or uh, glad. So these are the words we can used as antonym of despair. Such a way, my dear students, we need to concentrate on improving our vocabulary by using thesaurus and dictionary. So today's homework I would like to give you is see homework my dear students uh, write any four synonyms and antonyms for the word honesty by using dictionary or thesaurus. So I hope that you have enjoyed this session. Uh, my special thanks to our beloved secretary RS Pravin Kumar sir and uh, MRDT team and the TSAT faculty. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay.